Evening, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else that's watching. Uh, it's it's my birthday today. It's the 23rd of July. I was born 45 years ago. <laughs> uh, right, what am I doing here? Why am I doing a video on my birthday? Well, I've been out. I've had a nice meal and all that kind of stuff. And... Uh, Today, I actually got sent on the, the Nautilus Mini and as a favour uh, to the big fella, uh, Gary, who runs kernelvapes.co.uk, uh, I'm going to do a quick video. It's, well, I'm saying quick. I'll, I'll try and make it quick. Um, the reason is that, that there are reviews out there, there's a few reviews out for the Aspire Nautilus Mini already <coughs> and uh, people have ripped the coils to bits and all that kind of thing and and declared their undying love for the device so this is just I'm chucking in my tuppence worth now I'm currently vaping it on my Mini Atom which is a DNA 20 mod um, which is lovely and I'm currently vaping at 12 watts now I've got, is it Pearl Necklace? Uh, another shout out to, God it's turned into a product placement this, um, Charlie, Funky Vapes, uh, well, this company, vapemeat.ca, um, I have to do these shout outs for these Canadian companies because my wife's Canadian, so if I don't then I get into trouble with her. Uh, so he sent on some of his juice, so I've been vaping that and this, and uh, 12 watts, here we go. And I've got the airflow control fully open. <laughs> Stunning. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go up to 15 watts. Which is just silly for me. Um, 15 watts on, it's a 1.0 coil, so I'm, I'm putting out 5.5 .5 volts. <sighs> this thing just delivers. I, I can't, I can't put it any simpler than that. This thing just chucks out clouds, the flavour is phenomenal, da -na -na -na. Da -da -da -na -na. Um, yeah it's phenomenal and I, I'm nothing short of gobsmacked by this wee thing. I am, by my very own admission, a huge fan of the, the Nautilus anyway, um, especially when you rebuild the coil yourself, a cotton set up in it, or well, a one ohm coil, it's just brilliant. Um, I mean, and I've got in here, you know, I've got like the metal tanks for the Nautilus and all that kind of gear. So I really like them. This coil is a lot better than the standard BDC coil for the Aspire. Uh, it really, the Aspire Nautilus, I should say. Um, it's just bloody crazy. I'll show you it close up. Right, it, it comes in your standard Nautilus box. I mean, it's the same size as box as you get for the the regular Nautilus. Um, inside you get your usual little manual. Uh, you get a spare coil, a plinth, and you get a tank. That's my own drip tip, by the way. I can't I can't remember what I did with the original drip tip, but it's kicking about somewhere. Um, it looks like that on the picture there. How's this for a haphazard review? Uh, now, it's, it's just a tiny Nautilus. I mean, it's 19mm in diameter by about, I don't know, about 48mm in height. I think it's 48 Uh not including the drip tip, of course. Uh, you've got the standard, you know, you unscrew the base. It's quite stiff, uh, quite a stiff base to get off, but... You know, just fill up like that, down the side as usual, Pyrex tank, your coil sits in this base, 
so it takes two mils this and then you just screw the base back on and like the, the standard Nautilus the whole thing comes to bits and you can clean it and so on you've got uh, your air hole selection here this is the, the widest air hole that you can see there and you just spin it round you see you've got the little indicator holes there so I mean the holes range from you've got 0 0.9 millimeters 1.1 mil, 1.4 mil, and 1.8 mil, and the 1.8 mil I can just get a direct lung inhale in that, and uh, blow some clouds out. Coil that comes with it is 1.8 ohms. I do believe Gary's going to be getting in 1.6 ohms at some point in the future. Now, for the purposes of uh, shits and giggles, uh, we'll take this to bits, uh, but. We'll zoom in here. So here we have a fully assembled coil. See Aspire BVC. I take it that refers to bottom vertical coil. So you've got, see the holes here, we've got one, two, three, four in total running round. So we'll just take this out like we do with the normal ones. There you can see you've got your cables, cables, wires even. Take the plastic grommet out, or rubber grommet. There you can see we've got uh, our live and earth wires there. But I hope you can see them, I hope this is in focus. Um, right, so are we going to try to pull this out the bottom or take it out the top? I think we'll try taking... I think we'll try pushing this through and I'll try taking it out the top. Uh, it looks like we've got a little metal f mesh at the top here. Oh, we do it. So, hopefully you can see that. But that little... Looks like stainless steel mesh sits on the top and you can see inside it's like a bloody, it's like a cathemizer and out she comes check that out how f retro is this look at that just fold that out and you can see we've got a little coil sitting in there. My god, yeah, that's so weird to see. That's going to be pretty easy to rebuild yourself. It's just a, a coil running up through the middle and one end runs down the back side of the wicking material. And it's just encased in this wadding. Now I don't know what you would use for this wadding, I don't know if you'd get away with, you probably got away with using cotton wool probably or something. I'm sure somebody will come up with something in the future, but I'm not going down that road. So all that just sits in there. Right, I mean it's 17 99 for the Mini Nautilus. Like I say it's 2 mil capacity Pyrex tank, a BVC coil, bottom vertical coil. You've got a 1.9, uh, did I say 1.9? 1.9 is your most open air hole. Uh, and I've lost the drip tip that I was using. I'll have to stop, concentrate, have a coffee. I mean, I don't really know what to say to you. Um, why do these coils work as well as they do? Damned if I know. Uh, all I can tell you is that I'm vaping at 15 watts. Uh, on a 2 ohm, it's actually reading 2 ohm this um, I never vape at 15 watts I'm 10, 11 usually but I can vape at 15 watts in this and it's not I'm not getting dry hits uh, I'm, I'm not it's not too hot for me it's just giving me more vapour and the, the juiced pearl necklace is, is just stunning in it
just nuts. Absolutely nuts. The best thing is that these coils actually are compatible with the standard Nautilus as well. Listen, I, I'm just going to go with what everybody else is saying. Uh, give it a whirl. It's, it's the best coil tank that I've had to date. Uh, yeah, bar none. Uh, I mean, I, I really liked the, the Aero Tank Mini. Uh, I was very, very impressed with that. I thought uh, it would be a while before something bet that with the airflow control on it and the type of vape it was given, but uh, this thing just knocks it sideways. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the look of it, is, it's still fucking ugly. Um, <laughs> it really is. I do hope they come out with... Uh, the kind of tanks that they have for the big Nautilus uh, to make it just just make it a, look a little bit prettier um, but you can't fault the vape you really can't uh, before I go once again a big shout out to Charlie uh, from Funk Sauce for sending me on his pearl necklace shameless plug there we go also thank you to Gary from Kernel Vapes for sending this on I did get this free for review and did I tell you it was my birthday? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch up soon. Cheers now. Bye.